welcome. And in this video, I'm gonna make half dead Will Byers. And here's just some of the supplies I'm gonna to use to make him. The first thing I got was a practice makeup dummy head. I got this on Amazon. Got some hands, some clothes, some Stranger Things themed clothes. And this I got at a garage sale or the flea market for like a buck. You can find those fairly easily. So I mark the head and I'm gonna cut a hole in there and I'm gonna glue that on. And I'm gonna probably use Gorilla Glue and foam to fill in some missing holes if that happens. So the first thing is I gotta cut out the hole. Then I ripped it out and I just kept cutting and cutting until it fit into that um, base, the torso. Once it fit in the base, kind of tested it out there first, dressed the dummy, positioned the head and how I wanted it. And um, of course we're gonna put pool noodles in his arms. <laughs> and we're gonna make legs with pool noodles as well. We're gonna attach it to that torso. And we have a wig for him, and we are gonna put um, makeup on him and the tendril that's in his, vine, in his mouth, I'm sorry. So the pool noodles, you know, we're going to use these as his arms. So I put it in the sleeve and then I measured, and I will um, cut them about above the sleeve here. So when we put the hands in, you won't see the poo noodles. And then there I might cut a little slit for the elbows. That way we can bend them if we'd like. So the hands, I got these, um, you can find them at the dollar store. Just make sure when you put them in, your hands are facing the right way. I have made that mistake before. So be very, um, uh, careful with doing that because then you might put the, the right hand on the left hand and it looks ridiculous. I measured my own hands um, to see about where the elbow would be. I really screwed this up and you'll see that later. So it was time to glue on the head and you can see how difficult that was. While that was drying, I decided to make the legs. I had a leftover piece of um, foam and the pool noodles. That foam block right there is going to be the butt. So I cut it to match and I marked what would be the front and the top and the, and the bottom. I used my nifty little carving knife to carve it out. Had some holes marked for the legs, so I cut that out as well with my carving knife, and that's what it would look like. Of course, we need to cut the legs. So after I measured uh, how long the jeans were, I cut the legs and I used barge cement and filled in the holes and glued together the um, poo noodles to the foam. And this is upholstery foam, by the way. So I just let the legs and the head dry overnight and then after they dried, we fit it into that torso. It is the next day. My head is glued onto the mannequin body with the legs, with that foam butt. And the head glued on there horribly. Maybe I could put some spray foam in there. But um, now it's makeup and then just dress them, put on the arms and everything else we made and then he'll be um, dead Will hanging out in the upside down. Oh. I got this wig for free, but of course I have to cut it so it matches Will's hair, but I think I look good with dark hair. All right, we're ready to put the legs and the arms on. So what we need to do is poke a hole here in that torso. And I used my hot knife to do that. Um, it's kind of like a soldering iron. It, it's used though for wood and crafting. And then I just got some wire to fit through it so that way we can bend it. Super fun. It just melts it right away. And then you got a nice little hole there so we could put the wire in. And I did the same thing with the poo noodles stuck the wire right through there like that then we just bend it and twist it and then once it's twisted i would um put that into that little hole that we put into the um, plastic torso you can find these torsos pretty easily um, department stores and stuff 
So you can see I twisted it there so it wouldn't fall through. Okay, his arms look really long, but that's okay, I can trim them. And I should have not cut the elbows yet. Whatever, it's not like a big deal. Just some duct tape fixes that up. Um, so now I'm gonna put his jacket and his shirt on and see how his arms look. Um, and then we'll glue on the hands. Let me tell you, I was so stoked to find a set of hands that were a left and a right. Um, that's kind of rare to find. When you're at the dollar store, or Dollar Tree, you can always find all the left hands, all of the right hands. I usually do not like buying things from the show. I'm a big garage sale or thrift store shopper, but I had such a hard time finding an 80s vest. So um, I bought the Stranger Things one, which is really cool. I bought it in my size so I could wear it. And I am just gonna use liquid latex to cover this part up because I don't like it with all his slime. And I'm not gonna destroy it. I'm actually just gonna spray it with a water bottle every night so it looks actually wet. And if anyone touches it, it will be wet. Then I could reuse it. I don't have the heart to destroy that vest. And why I didn't get a vest at a thrift store is because all the 80s vintage vests were 50 to $80 and I didn't have that much money. The hands are in there. Now it's dried. Oh crap, that almost fell on my foot. There it is. Will Byers hands. I was so mad. I got great stuff on that. So mad. Okay, the fun part, painting. I um, just airbrushed him to look more dead like Will Byers here. And then I attached a um, insulation foam pipe backer rod onto his mouth with a little wire inside to bend it. And then use some tape to just tape it together. Then he was ready for some more details like the liquid latex. So I'm just gonna take the latex and paint it all over this and add nernies. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, oh, I have to, <laughs> I have, I have this huge steel frame that's part of the haunt and I have to duck under and I just hit my head. <laughs> Anyways, back to this. There's my liquid latex and I'm gonna tint it with black paint. Okay, now we're gonna mix it up. Now when you're using the latex, you have to, I'm learning myself. I learned this from um, Brian. This is all new to me. I've never used latex before. I've been making nernies, which are my vines. I've learned how you can tint them. And um, I like the way the latex looks. I like how you can layer it and stretch it and peel it and all sorts of things. And I'm just going to paint and then I'm going to make why I'm doing this I'm going to put one here and I'm going to roll it off the table later and I'm going to wrap my tendril in it this is more gray than black but that's okay because I think when I dry brush it with some black paint it's going to look good all right there is that I'm gonna mess it up a little. It is ridiculously humid and hot today, and this is gonna take forever to dry. So that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. I guess I could time lapse, but it would be boring as well. So I'm just going to stop it and we'll continue later. Okay, I was going to say, that's why I started the recording. If you watch any of my videos, you know that I leave in my mistakes. I am a <laughs> trial by error is that what it's called I don't know. I try things and if they don't work I leave it in my video if I royally fail it's embarrassing but that's life 
So the reason why I'm putting the latex on this first before I wrap it in is because it will stick to itself. That's the main reason. And then I actually, I don't know why I'm rushing this so much, but I am. But so far it, it, it looks better than that stupid foam. So that's good. In fact, I'm gonna use my big paintbrush now because it just is taking too much time. This table is great for everything, um, but I think there's oils on it, which makes the latex not dry as fast. So from now on, I've learned from my mistake and I will do this on concrete, not on my husband's lovely um, welding table. There you have it. And then, so I'm gonna take this. You know, it, it's not like paint. When it dries, it just peels right off. It's like getting glue on your hand. It's the coolest stuff. I'm so happy that Brian um, taught us about Nernies. Should I sing the Nerny song? I don't know. Because Nernies are cool. So, I mean, I could take a big one or I could take a little one. I could take a flat one, whatever. I'm just kind of wrapping it organically around there like that. And then once I get a big one, I'm going to lay it over it and it's going to look really goopy and weird. I'm trying to cover up my tape lines. So I have these little ones here, so I'm going to get all of them up and I'm going to lay them flat on this and make the veins. It's not done yet, but layer of layer. Um, my problem is I should have done this either in the sun or on the concrete, so it's having a hard time drying. Um, I just had leftover, so I made more. The more, the merrier, in my opinion. And what's cool is the stuff in the bucket, I can, I can use this too. You know, it, it's plastic in here, so all I do is peel away, and then I have myself one, and then I can apply it on there like that. And then I can even paint more latex over it. So nothing's going to waste. Every, even all of this in here, I'm just gonna, once it dries, I'm gonna put it in the sun right now, I think. I'm gonna peel it all out and I'm gonna put it all over um, Will. And this dries um, really um, flat, not glossy. So I think it'll look really cool. It's always so satisfying when you're peeling up the latex. <laughs> and I just got um, really excited. So I'm gonna use this for Will's little tendril here. The last thing to do is paint it. So we did a little dry brushing. I mixed up a little red, a little black, um, just until I like, I like the color. I didn't want it too bright. And then you just slowly dry brush on top of it and it kind of just picks up, um, it just highlights it. I just love how it details it a little bit. And um, I, I went over a few times until I really liked it. And I, I, I'm pretty stoked on how it turned out. Had a lot of fun doing this. And I'm gonna be making a lot more Nernies. I'm gonna to try to make these um, exactly like this to put all over the house and all over the upside down. Um, so the next thing I gotta do is just add some of my, what is it called, the, the glaze. Uh, my son and I were having fun. So add the glaze to look at, make it look wet and slimy.
The last thing I use is my favorite diamond glaze because it was a little slimy. So it takes uh, about 24 hours for the diamond glaze to dry and it will dry clear. And so it will look more wet and glossy like he, like he was in the upside down. Um, and then with the right lighting like this, he's gonna look amazing and I think he's gonna look pretty scary. And I'm pretty proud of myself how this guy turned out. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you come visit the haunt, I am super excited to show off my half dead will. Thanks for watching.